I'll take my leave. Good day. Who was she, Ambassador? A merchant. I thought we should reach out to the Dwarves to secure Lyrium for the Inquisition's mages. According to Lady Corpin, it raised the ire of the Chantry. How? Access to Lyrium makes us rather more formidable than anticipated. We're becoming a challenge. Sadly, the remaining Grand Clerics appear to be consolidating the Chantry's power, instead of comforting the masses. Mage circles started falling years ago. The Chantry was troubled even before the Divine's murder. Yet many people continue to bear it great love. We will not benefit from its decline. Little but the Chantry ties Orlais, Nevara, Ferelden, Antiva, and even Rivain to a common cause. Has the Chantry truly promoted such peace? Anrasti's chant is familiar across kingdoms, a source of many shared customs. That is the crucial point. Common ground is the start of all negotiations. I suppose a shared faith can be useful when talking with strangers. Precisely. And these similar interests are merely where we begin. We must learn to think beyond our own wants, to secure peace in Thedas. How did someone so lovely and selfless go into Orlesian politics, Lady Montelier? Well, that is, uh, really, you give me too much credit. While you're here, I do have a question. The remaining Grand Cleric sent a missive inquiring about the events at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. They demand to know whether the Inquisition officially claims that Andraste saved you from the breach. If it were up to you, how would you reply? Will my answer change your reply to the Chantry? If Leliana, Cassandra, Cullen and I could agree on our official stance, I could answer that. We should decide soon. The revered mothers don't seem to know what to make of you. I tell the Chantry that Andraste herself shielded me from harm. I'd truly like to hear the debates that would raise in Val Royo. Thank you for your thoughts. A good day to you. <laughs>